Welcome to Align Books. We are happy to have you on board. Welcome to the Warehouse Master Screen. In this Help Studio tutorial, we will explore the Warehouse Master Page options. Before we begin, let us know about the need of Warehouse Master and the uses of this activity. Most of the business's operations are spread over multi locations, and you may need to maintain separate warehouse records for each location or branch. This will help the operations to procure and transfer the inventories within the group to a greater extent and AlignBooks tracks all the inventory movements and their prices within locations. This will sort out the problem of non-moving inventory to a greater extent since the locations can view and get use of non-moving inventories of particular locations. For maintaining separate inventory for each location within the consolidated books of the company, you must keep the warehouse on while configuring your company setup. To do so, go to Configuration, then Company Setup, then Inventory, then Basic, and keep the Warehouse option on. Functions of the Warehouse Master Module Creation of New Warehouse Edit or Modify of Existing Warehouse Delete existing warehouse, etc. Creation of new warehouse. From configuration, go to Warehouse and then click New Warehouse on the right side of the screen. The Warehouse Master page looks like this. Basic. Under this section, you need to enter the basic information for the new warehouse being created. Name. Enter the warehouse name. For example, Kolkata Warehouse or Kabir Road Warehouse, etc. Code. This is a system-generated unique code. Inactive. Here, you may inactive a certain warehouse so that the name of such a warehouse will not appear in the list. Keep inactive as on. Party. Select a warehouse control account from the drop-down list. Warehouse Control Account represents the account to be used for giving financial impact for transactions, both financial and movement of stocks, made between the warehouses. Example, if Warehouse A is transferring goods to Warehouse B, Warehouse A must debit to Warehouse B by crediting its inventory for the goods value and vice versa for Warehouse B's books. To tackle and ease the process, AlignBooks is treating all warehouses the same, like customers to one another. You may open as many warehouses as you wish. Address. Here, you may enter the complete address of the warehouse. The same address would be used for all the future communications with the warehouse, so make sure the address is complete and understandable to any third party for delivering the goods, documents, etc. For example, flat, building number or name, street name or number, area, landmark, etc. Country. Here, you may select the country from the drop-down list. Default would be India. If the required country name does not exist in the list, you can create one from the same tab. Click on the plus in the drop-down menu to create a country. You can also edit or delete a country from this tab. To do so, select a country, edit or delete, and save by click on save. You can delete it by clicking on Delete. State. Here you may select the state from the drop-down list. You may create, edit or delete a state by adopting the same process as explained under the tab Country above. City. Here you may select the city from the drop-down list. The drop-down list shows major cities within the selected state. You may create, edit or delete a city by adopting the same process as explained under tab Country above above pin. Here you should enter the right pin according to the state mentioned above. This will help to track all your future communications. For postal communications, pin code is a must. Phone. This field will allow you to enter the contact phone number of the warehouse, which shall be used for all the future communications. Email. This field will allow you to enter the contact email ID of the warehouse, which shall be used for all the future written communications.
Longitude. Here, you may see your warehouse via Google Maps, which will help you to locate the warehouse very easily. Click on Save to save the values entered while creating a new warehouse. Click on Clear to clear the data, to clear what you have entered, and re-enter. Once the warehouse is created, you may edit or delete the warehouse by following the below steps. Edit. Click here to edit the warehouse information. You can make the required changes and save. Delete. If you wish to delete this record, click on Delete and confirm the deletion. It is advisable not to delete a warehouse since any of the data is already linked with that warehouse. It will be difficult to then trace that information. Rather, we suggest you inactivate the warehouse instead of deleting. Export. From this option, you may export the data in Excel format. Search. If you have a long list of warehouses, you may find the required warehouse through the search option. Group. Here, you may design the display table according to your understanding and by simply dragging the table header from one place to the other. Sort. This field gives you the advantage of sorting the data within the screen without exporting to Excel format. To do the same, double-click on the label of the required field where the data needs to be sorted. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a shout for help. Happy aligning!